Hey guys, so what we're going to do here is create an XDK account and get the platform. Um, what we're going to do is install the Google Chrome extension. Um, so let's go to Google Chrome and let's let me clear some of these out. I don't need eBay, don't need that. All right, so let's go, let's just search for Intel XDK. And the site that it's available on is HTML5 dev slash software dot Intel dot com. And let's just go to the Intel XDK download page. Click on download. And you do have to have the latest version of Java installed. So if you don't, it's just probably going to um, prompt you to, to do it, to install it. All right, so let's click Run. All right, so now we need to select a folder where we want our projects. And if you save it in documents, then it's actually gonna put all your projects and even all the demo projects that come with it in your documents folder, and you don't want that. Um, what I'm gonna do is put it, I'm gonna go to my C drive, create a new folder if I can and I'm gonna call it, I'll just call it XDK. I'm gonna choose that folder. All right, so we have an issue here. I have seen this before. Uh, Chrome appears to be missing, download Chrome. We obviously know that that's not the case. We're in Chrome. Um, or we could click here for instructions, but Let's see, if we right click the XDK icon, which we don't even have, uh, oh, down here. And what we wanna do is choose set Chrome location. And then you wanna navigate to wherever you have Chrome installed. On most, in most cases, it's gonna be in your C drive, in program files, uh, in Google, Chrome, application and then you want to just click on Chrome EXE and hopefully that fixes the issue I'm going to exit and go back in all right so now it's loading up so you're gonna to have to apply well not apply you'll definitely get it but you have to sign up um, for an XDK account so I'm just gonna create a new account just so we can go through the process together. Uh, I'll use my personal email, password. All right. Okay, we want to agree with the terms and conditions, and it's up to you if you want announcements or not. All right, password must contain at least one. All right. So it went ahead and just loaded the interface for us. And this is just saying if we want to use the AppMobi API in your app, 
you can copy this snippet to your clipboard, which is just the basic uh, code, but we're not going to do that right now. We can choose not to show this again and click close. I'm just going to click close there as well. So here we have the, you can see the app name up here, demo.helloworld, uh, which is just an image with some buttons that don't do really do anything. Uh, over here we have our emulation, so we can click on the iPhone. All right, so this app, this Hello World app, obviously isn't uh, formatted or responsive to a, a, a phone, a smartphone, because you can see it doesn't change, it just zooms into the image, we can't see the buttons. So we don't wanna build apps like that. Um, we're actually gonna build four smartphones. And if we, choose, if we go up here, we can actually, this will display all our apps we have no apps that we've created uh, but there are a lot of demo apps you can see there's the accelerometer uh, basic animation navigation uh, geolocation just a whole bunch of stuff podcast shoutcast uh, so let's let's look at the geolocation app demo app all right, so if you remember in when we were doing phone gap, uh, we actually did the same thing pretty much. We just pointed our location onto a map. Now, if we click on up here, we can actually switch. We can toggle to et to our editor, which will show us the code. Uh, and you want to look over here, index HTML. If we open that up, um, this is the actual code for that geolocation map and you can see that this is very similar to what we did with phone gap we set up a uh, latitude longitude variable and we said new google dot maps dot latitude longitude and then the coordinates um, let's see what else we have our map options so if you want to look at this and then go and compare to our phone gap geolocation application uh, you'll see a lot of similarities uh, it does look like this particular app uses the watch position um, and not the get current position so it's a little different uh, this seems to be a little more in depth but um, as I said it's 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 very similar so that's it we installed the XDK for Chrome and we don't have to use this container here to do our coding. Uh, we can set up NetBeans and have a project folder. Uh, actually, let me just show you. We chose the C drive and the XDK folder to hold all our apps. So you can see it has all the demo apps. Um, for instance, the geolocation app. Uh, it has the version number. And then is there's the app files, which here is just uh, an index HTML file and then some images so we can set up a NetBeans project and use this as the project folder all right well, but as far as workflow if we program in NetBeans we can still use this to emulate so we can test with this container so that's it for now um, next we'll look into making our own app and I will see you then